today we are going to learn about characters and how we can find characters in their external and internal traits in the story for this week, Picture Day Perfection. You can follow along with the video by using your own MyBook One from the supply bag that you got and you can go to page 85 and we're going to page 102. And you can also follow along to the YouTube story with your own book as well. And today's form that you will be doing is called, called an impossible to fill form. That means it will not let you move on to the next section or submit unless you get all questions correct. So let's get started. Today, our story is called Picture Day Perfection. What kind of genre it, is it? What kind of story? We know it's fiction, but it's a special kind of fiction story. It is called realistic fiction. Those stories are made up, but could happen in real life. So as you read Picture Day Perfection, look for the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Characters who act and talk like real people, problems that real people might have, ways pictures and words help readers understand the story. It turned to page 91, and I'm going to reread page 91 to 94. So listen or follow along. On the bus, I got into a small bit of trouble. Make that a large bit of trouble. The bus driver made me sit in the seat right behind him for the rest of the ride. By the time I got into school, my picture day face was fixed in a scowl. In class, Mrs. Smith collected our photo order forms. Do you think my mom checked emerald green for my photo background? Or peacock blue? Or pizzazzy purple? No. Once again, of all the backgrounds in the world, mom checked snoring, boring, traditional gray. No one gets traditional gray. Except for me, and it just so happens to be the only color in the world that makes my favorite shirt disappear, all but the stains and the wrinkles. After that, the teacher had us all stand up and practice our picture day smiles. Personally, I thought we needed a little something to get us in the picture day mood. Whoops, got myself in trouble again. Now let's take a closer look at page 91 at our main character, the boy in the story. That is our most important character and what, who the story is about is our main character, this boy. So what words would you use to describe the boy? So pay attention to the words that we read and to the illustration or pictures. So you would describe him as maybe kind of short, brown hair, unlucky, misbehaving, so why did you choose those words? Well, maybe because that's how he looks in the pictures. And then bad things have been happening to the boy, but he has also caused problems by misbehaving on the bus and during smiling practices. So how do the pictures give more information about the boy? So how do the pictures help you? Well, they show what his hair and dirty shirt look like, and they show that he is not smiling. So here we have our vocabulary word, and it says scowl, and that's kind of like a frown. So that describes his face and how he looks. And then we have a picture of a stain on his shirt. So that must mean he's kind of messy. And then he has a complaint about the color that his mom chose saying that his shirt blends into it and he's still not smiling. So there we can see his internal traits, how he feels and how he looks on the outside, his external traits. Now let's take a closer look at pages 98 to 99 to find out more about our main character, this boy. And you can follow along as I reread it. As I sat and waited, everything that had happened rushed through my mind the monstrous messes, the muddles and the mix-ups, the whole day from the moment I'd rolled out of bed, 
had gone even better than I planned. This year, I was finally going to have the perfect school picture. And here it says, perfectly. So now, let's take a closer look and find out more about the boy. So what is surprising about what happens in this part of the story? Well, what's surprising is that we learn that he wanted all that bad stuff to happen and he wanted to have a bad picture. So now let's take a closer look and see how do we know that the boy wanted a, a bad picture and that how the day had, had gone, which seemed bad to us, was actually good for him. So if you have your pencil in your book, you can go to page 99 and underline even better than planned. And that's what the boy is telling himself. He's telling himself that all that stuff that happened that day was what he wanted to happen. That was his plan. And how do we know that? Well, it says it right there in the book, even better than planned. And he also said perfectly. So he's actually happy with how the day turned out. So what does the boy's reaction tell you about him? So how does his action and his reaction and feelings tell you about his personality, his inside internal traits? Well, it tells us that he does things his own way and he is comfortable doing things differently. And he's different from a lot of other kids in that he was okay with all that stuff that happened, the mix-ups and the bad day, the bad day and the situations that happened. He was okay with that and actually kind of liked it. So that is our character of the story, our main character, and we found out about his external traits, how he looked on the outside, and his internal traits, and how he felt on the inside, and his personality. So now, use what we learned about to help you answer the questions below.